All right, folks, I've got this 2013 Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn with the uh, Eisen transmission and single rear wheel, uh, non-dually. The other day I was driving it and it just started feeling like a dog. Like it started dogging, you just get on the gas. It doesn't matter how hard you push the gas pedal it's still just chugging like a little bit, little bit, little bit more. And it, you know, it'll just barely accelerate. And then, but it, but if you just ease into it, it'll accept, you know, you can get it all the way to highway speeds. So that's clearly a fuel issue. Like that's obviously a fuel issue. Um, and, uh, like for it to, for it to run fine, uh, with, no boost with just uh just a little bit but then if you get on it then it starts acting like it's choking um that means the uh the lift pump or the the injection pump is not get, not being fed enough pressure ahead of uh it uh, upstream of it um so i uh the, you know that could be just a clogged um a clogged fuel filter but then I go and replace, uh, I replaced the fuel filter and, um, I'm seeing some, uh, seeing an, I'm seeing evidence that it's probably not the fuel filter, but rather it's probably the, the fuel pump that's in the, the electric fuel pump that's in the, um, uh, that's in the fuel tank. So I'll show you this here. So I, Turn on, turn that on. So that should turn on the uh, the fuel pump that's in the tank. And then, see, I've got the I've got the uh, the cover off of this. And I was trying to fill this up, so I've got the I closed the little valve here, and I'm just uh, basically priming it to fill this up with fuel before putting the cap back on it so that there's no air going in uh so i don't freaking airlock the engine and it is just see it's it we're just now it's just barely barely getting full and i've think i've pumped this son of a bitch for a while yeah you can see there's a little bit of fuel poking over right there starting to come over the edge trying to get it to focus a little bit of fuel there so it's pumping but it's pumping really really slow and i don't think that's normal i don't i'm pretty sure that the electric pump is supposed to pump faster than that so i think what the deal is is this has been probably been a long time coming it's probably been a uh slow decline in the performance of the electric pump to the point where it just can't go any longer um uh now you know i can remember the last time that i pulled the last time i pulled a heavy trailer pulled my backhoe behind the the truck um it was when i was pulling hard with it really boosting it up and everything it was just it, there was a certain amount of power it would give and beyond that it just it wouldn't go any farther it wouldn't give any more power than that i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure the the pump was weak even back then so i called extreme diesel and uh, asked him a bunch of questions about it. One of the main things I was asking is, when you have the, the, the high performance frame mounted fuel pump, um, does it still require the electric one in the tank? Or does it just sump, like suck out of the tank from the outside? And apparently uh, the latter. Like apparently uh, you, you remove the electric one from the tank when you install the frame mounted one. So that's good news because now I have an excuse to upgrade the fuel system. 
because my stock fuel filter at a hundred or two hundred and ten thousand miles it's about time that it goes out so it's that would not be a surprise at all if it's failing so that's what i'll do i'll go ahead and uh order uh you know one of these aftermarket fuel pumps and i'll install it i'll probably make another video for that whenever i get it in in the mail